Hey everyone, Coops here from the whole Box and Dice Witchwood Part 2. We have managed to rope the man himself, Zach, back to the studio to uh, talk about the Druid Hunter, all of the class cards that we've already seen. There's about uh, 20 of these cards so far. We're about halfway through, about 40% away through the class. Spoilers. Thank you again for making yourself available, Zach. Is there, a, is there a class that, just before we actually break down the individual cards, is there, a car, is there a class you're most excited to see where they take it? Is there a class that you're excited to not see at the top of the ladder anymore? What's your uh, super early 30-40% of the reveal? What, what class are you excited to get behind the wheel of a deck and what class are you excited to not see anymore going forward in Witchwood? I'm really excited to see Warrior come back. Yep. Uh, You're a big warrior yeah, fan. I love warriors. They're great. <laughs> yeah, I'm big on the warrior. I don't even main warrior. Shaman's my favorite class. I'm excited to see Shaman come back as well. Yep. It's good to see Druid get the rug pulled out from underneath it. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> nature is not rising against you any longer, for yeah. now at least. Yeah, and, and we'll definitely touch on that because I, I think Druid has, I, I think rightfully, like, you know, that you can't let one class just go unchecked and it, it's exciting like there's nothing worse than being like a mage player and just being like it's been five years and i not the mages haven't been competitive for five years but you know there's nothing worse than loving a class and just not being able to compete you know in the broader spectrum so i look forward to uh to your thoughts is has there been has there been one card just before we even get into it is there one card one class card that uh you're excited to, to have a chat about today i, I know you mentioned warrior and we we looked at some of the we will be looking at some of the warrior cards is there one that you think is just very interesting um is, is there one that you're excited to see or you hope there's a bit better warrior on the uh, on the horizon what are your initial thoughts on warrior as you uh, mentioned you are a self-loving warrior man <laughs> i think it'll be cool to see what warrior can do without pirates Yep, I, I tried really, really hard to make a blood warrior. Yeah, um, which was just just a little too slow as uh, well. Just a little too yeah. slow. It doesn't have a lot of board control. Yep. There's some cards that might help with board control. There's yep. some cards that uh, like getting hurt. Yeah, it's always nice. Warrior loves it. Yeah, um, warlock also is potentially terrifying. Oh yes, we've got cube lock running all yeah. over the place right now. And they said, hey, why don't we we'll just give them some really, really scary cards yeah. or double cube. <laughs> Right, double, yeah. Double quad mega yeah. cube. <laughs> All the maths in the world. Well, uh, we will jump into uh, we will jump into these these classes now. We'll start off with the uh, the hunter one. But yes, thank you again for making yourself available. I think it's going to be a lot of fun because uh, they they've turned a couple of classes on their head. Actually, start with the yeah. hot druid. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, we scrapped that. Uh, we will not actually be starting off with Hunter. We'll start off with Druid because they've literally, because they've just blanked Druid, because they've shown them no love. I actually forgot genuinely that they just, were actually a just class. Just because they're getting cards and not that good doesn't mean you can just forget about them. Look, there's only four cards. We can do it really quickly. Look, Witchwood Apple, Forest Guy, Witchwood Wood, Glimpse Out, boom. All right, move on What's to on? Hunter. Hunter, yeah. let's go. <laughs> no, let's jump into Druid. Let's, uh, we'll do this properly and we'll look at some very, very interesting cards for uh for everyone's least favorite class in hearthstone let's get to it pretty much the class that as we said blizzard have just said uh you you go to the back of the line we've, you've we've had enough yeah. of you yeah uh, you, you've had your, your fun with your, um, your green toys yeah. we're yeah. gonna take those away from you <laughs> and uh apparently we're gonna give you trance wisps yeah and we're, we're gonna we're gonna do what we did to shaman in knights of the frozen yeah. time we're just gonna give you a bunch of cards that are cards and those are yours and you yeah. play with those yeah now. doesn't matter if they have no synergy or they're not really no, good they don't really it. fit yeah. you thematically you've, like you've had enough yeah yeah like you need to take a back seat um we're sick of you yeah now obviously this could be a big foot in mouth moment when they turn around and the other yeah. like six cards oh, that Druid insane. get are yeah. absolutely insane uh but from looking at this right now this happens all the time yeah uh, it's important ebb, for the, the game. ebb and flow of the yeah. heroes you know you can't be strong forever yeah. and it's it's very important for the game they can't have it so that a class is strong forever and i think people are pretty sick of of druid you know they I'm, had their I'm fun done. yeah um and like we, we see this even through to the next card the guide a four cost one six both players draw a card this is like we didn't like cold light oracle but we kind of like the effect like this card seems good if in another class you know potentially like yeah. a like if this was priest right and then you in a fire it and make it a six six 
awesome, yeah. right? Yeah, you're rocking. <laughs> yeah. Great. It's great. But, um, like, this car doesn't seem particularly he, druid he fit either. He, he doesn't. There, there used to be a card a long time ago called Jeeves who used to draw you a card at the end of your turn. didn't matter if it was you or your opponent. If you had, I believe, I'm pretty sure it was less than three cards in your hand, you'd draw a card. People used to play that. Kind of like Genzo but with yeah, the attack they'd, trigger. They'd, yeah, they'd play a lot with it. So I reckon people play around with this. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want to kill it if it was running up against me. I'd probably want to keep it alive just until my cards. hands got out of control. Yeah. yeah. And because it can work counterproductively for your opponent as well, they get too many cards. Yeah. They're milling as well. So but the thing to think about with him as well is he does have six health. Yeah, so if lot they of health. Buff him and give him taunt. Yes, yeah, very annoying. Quite a big annoying wall to get through. That's milling you very slowly. Yeah. Uh, hand druid, <laughs> like oh. move over hand lock. Like it, okay, so we spoke about cards that. Well, sorry, we didn't speak about. But previously, we spoke about cards that were that are very interesting if previous cards weren't being lost, right? So like things like. Mark of the Lotus, right? Yeah. So suddenly, if all your wisps are two twos, yeah, right, and you know, like uh, we pl both played a aggro druid rush deck that put a couple of things out on the board early, and you just pumped them up to outvalue your opponent and just run over the top of them. But you need a lot of cards in hand, and that's kind yeah. of counterproductive to yeah. the aggro strategy. You've lost some of the best board buffs. This is just another like pat on the head. There you go, card, there you or go. like. Is this wizard? Uh, is this blizzard trying to hint at, like, this is an archetype they want for druid going forward? There's a chance. I, yeah. I want to hope there's a card, maybe a legendary, that's like, yeah. I am this strong with this many, many cards, cards in your hand. That'd be nice. Yeah. There's there's one card that loves this card. He's probably the only person, and that's Crip Lord. Mm -hmm. Crip Lord's like, woo! This yeah. is great. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, he's probably the only thing yeah. that's saying it. But yeah, it's yeah. also an epic. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it feels real bad, you know, to, to pop this as your golden epic kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and all the cards we just looked at are all even cost cards, so none of them can be played in the Baku deck. Um, whereas this one can. This is the uh, the Gloom, Gloom stag. stag. This one, very interesting. Do you want to pay? five for a four eight with taunt yes but um let's talk about some of the cards that you no longer can play swipe right yep. uh you have no no longer can have swipe in your deck and you don't often see many competitive druid decks that don't play swipe no. <laughs> right <laughs> like starfall is not a replacement <laughs> no. for swipe no <laughs> right so like i love this and if this was the even one like they Sick. could they could they could erase all the lols that they just did yeah. on those last yeah. three cards. They have this forever. Yeah. <laughs> they they did move innovate to one cost. Yes. So like you can do innovate, you can do nourish. <laughs> yeah. You can kind of ramp with this. Yeah. But but you also is lose... Gloomstag the card you want in no, a ramp yeah, deck no, and no. you lose on uh yeah, uh, wild growth. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah, you lose on the the jade one as also oh, you. Oh, the you, jade sorry, one's gone. You, 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 you'd be able to play the jade one, but you lose that kind of thing. So if yeah. you still had that in there, then you've still got ramp on one three five kind of. Yeah, you've got like, the, the little ramp. pixie dude as yeah. well. I can never remember his name. Yeah, but I know the he one you're gives you one. About. So I think I think if odd druid exists, it'll be a ramp druid yeah. with an upgraded hero power to use to gain armor and clear the board. Yeah. And you just kinda... Interesting deck though, right? Interesting like, deck, yeah. Very oh, strange. If, if it becomes a thing, I'll be shocked, but also pretty excited because there'll be have to be some innovative card choices in there, I think, yes. to to make it work. So this one, I think, we summed up perfectly when we we're looking at the cards. Is this just uh, is this Blizzard just being like, look, one card with both keywords? Uh... <laughs> this is the this is the uh, the display card when yeah. you're at the convention and they go, ooh. <laughs> What does this mean? These Echo are, and these are our, this is our baby. These yeah. are the new things. <laughs> um, it's like okay, so so we spoke about the applications where this card may have some relevance, right? So we spoke uh, spoke about just spamming hounds, right? Um, it's a three cost dependent on how many battle cards or monsters your opponent has on the board. This doesn't have that stipulation. You can use this after you play the hyena to run into something potentially remove two things and get a buff to your own creature you know is call the hounds is this just a different version because of the echo but then it becomes very expensive it's very expensive you know what you want to do with it you you got to compare it 
it, yes, it's a it's a it's a minion, but you got to compare it to removal spells. Yeah. Once you start casting that echo for like for eight, for and eight, it's not worth it, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it might be, uh, maybe, yeah. but like, it's also kind of not something that's really cool. Something that's very dangerous just popped into my head just now. <laughs> Uh, if you're running the Death Knight Hunter, you can now give any uh, minion you want plus one, plus two, and yes, echo, echo and rush. rush. Yes, uh, I didn't think of that. That's ooh. Yeah. What about a five drop with echo? Yeah. There probably won't be very many of those. Well, it's hard to construct, right? So you it gotta, is hard to construct. It, I yeah. think Hunter might be the only one that can play a Could good echo go five, five drop. Yeah, because like there's, they, they kind of look like they've deliberately gone four and three so it's like two four drops or three three drops they've tried to kind of stop because five you start get to some really powerful stuff right you can do some really silly stuff and uh yeah at, at five and i just think i didn't even think of that i think that's uh literally yes. just popped in my head suddenly that card doesn't seem so bad yeah. purely <laughs> we'll from take it back we'll be editing this out <laughs> this is a great card <laughs> hound master sure Something cool to know about this guy. There yep. will be a new single player mode All called right. Monster Hunt. Oh yeah, I which saw it. Yep. is an expanded, reworked version of Dungeon Crawl. Awesome. In this game, and we don't know much about it right now because I haven't spoken about it very much. Yeah. You don't pick heroes. Right, okay. Houndmaster Shaw is one of the people that you will be able to run oh, in okay. Monster Hunt. As like a as like a legend hero, as like a legendary personality. Guy. So yeah. I don't know how it works, but I feel like they're either going to do, they're probably not going to do one of each class. They might combine the classes into heroes. Okay, so yeah. How Master Shaw might be a hunter and another one, and you get some special cards in there. But he he is one of the characters you'll be able to play. And this is like this is like a Kodo for one cheaper, which like opens up. A lot of play, right? Yeah. He also has one extra attack. Yep. The hyper relevant. Uh, it's almost the same stats. Yep. Um, this seems to be for a more methodical hunter. A yeah. hunter that has been to school a little longer and <laughs> understands that two plus two equals four. It doesn't equal face. Face, yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're fighting words. There's, yeah. a lot, there's a lot of hunters out there. Like, <laughs> for all you hunters that have just turned off the podcast. This, this is a more controlled hunter. Yeah. Um, Which is not something that we see very regularly. No, yeah. no. Um, so out of the box, he's not that good, I yeah. suppose. If if your opponent is stupid enough to leave this up, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you're you're gonna have some fun. Well, like so many of the hunter minions just will wipe your opponent's board if they had rush, right? Absolutely. Like, like you lose so many matches when you can't deal with a Kodo. If it goes out one turn before. That's infinitely worse for yep, you, yep. right? <laughs> Hunter uses their spell stone and yeah. they get four three threes and yeah. just run straight that, that into just, the board. That just clears everything yeah. off. But um, we we touched on dragon hunters, dragon right? Hunter. Right, like March thirtieth. Like this is a hundred percent a thing now, right? So, and I think I think this I think this could be true as well. And, and please let us know in the comments if we are completely wrong. But is this the first dragon hunter card? That we that we've seen, like I can't think of. I'm, I'm pretty sure an, another one, but I think the the immediate fear and elation, depending on which side of the coin you're on, is Bone Drake. Absolutely, <laughs> with, with this card, right? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> this I is... think in the current meta, yep. every other class loves yeah. Emerus. Hunters <laughs> like I don't know what this thing yeah. is. Every other class goes. I need me one of those. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nether Spite Historian is leaving, so you can't get it as quickly but like bone drake can get it yeah but, but tell ya. nether spite like it, it seems like they've deliberately waited absolutely for nether spite right absolutely. because like i don't want people just ripping this no okay no <laughs> like um, that's that's not a that's not an okay thing for you to come up with like double the attack and health of all minions in your hand is just insanity yes yeah. it costs 10 it's you know it's a very late card but like that's yeah. that's a heck of an effect for the for the slower control hunter that doesn't exist yet. Yeah, I'd say it's uh, it's quite good. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see yeah. if hunters can play ten cost cards. Yeah, it, it's you know like you've got like Call of the Wild, right? Like there's been some expensive cards that have flirted with being relevant. Um, I don't think there's been a consistent nine or ten cost card that really defines a hunter deck and makes it top tier this would be interesting yep. you know like it, this would be very very interesting if 16 16 king crush yeah 
<laughs> I don't, that's great. I don't want to. Do, I don't want to deal with that. But like, th- there also has to be ways to like fill your hand. You know, we saw the. You know, um, we saw like ways to add random one cost minions to your hand, kind of thing. And if there are spells and creatures like that that can fill your hand with lower cost things, and you can build your hand up and then drop this. And, you know, there is a lot of, like, there's a lot of possibility yeah. around this we'll, card. We'll be interesting to see if, how Echo behaves. Yes. If it puts a copy back in your hand, is it going to be a double double attack, double health copy? If it is, woo. Yeah, well, suddenly, like, Echo Rush, right, becomes... <laughs> Echo a, Rush becomes the, the very hunting, scary. Yeah, the hunting Mastiff yeah. is very, very real. So, uh, I, I think, that, like, we're going to touch on, on Mage next, and there's some very, very interesting cards as we start getting into the classes but i i really am excited for hunter you know i'd love to see a shift in like philosophy in in just like what hunters are about you know you mentioned the two plus two actually equaling four not face um i I don't think you could be like any couldn't have hit the nail on the head any better like i'm very excited to see new hunter builds and archetypes come out and if a new set like which would allows us then i'm all for that i think that'd be very very cool it would be very cool indeed black cat uh this one very interesting card you know we we spoke about the book um if your deck has only odd cost cards so there's that stipulation again draw a card it's a three three beast not a lot of beasts in in mage Mage right doesn't have any beasts at (laughs) all dragons yeah and and not dragons (laughs) they're like spell slingers um i really like this card the plus one spell damage seems very relevant how do you feel about Black Cat? I think this could potentially be just in mage decks. Yeah. I don't want to chuck it out there and say that it's an auto-include, but I mean, like, a 3-3, three three, three, drawing a card. So, like, the only downside to this that Fireball. I can think of... Fireball's gone. Yeah. Um, That's pretty huge, though, it right? It is pretty huge, but there is that big spell mage with that Dragonfire thing yep. that yep. costs 5, and big spell mage might need this yeah and draw some cards and do even more damage with the big stupid spells like obviously the spell damage is like just like a bm like that's a win more Absolutely, right yeah. but the card draw yeah, is the card, the card is draw relevant. is really, really nice on a on a three three mana three three card drawing a card usually costs one yeah but um so that's a that's a is this like no swipe druid though right like how many yeah. how many great mage decks can you realistically see without fireball like it's it's just a it's a car they just run yeah you know like you just yeah it, they almost start in the deck you go like click new deck with mage and it's like fireball and two. We'll go with these yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think black cat fits i could have this horribly wrong but i'm pretty sure most elementals are odd cost yeah i think uh, you got the one cost in there you've got a three cost you can't run i, I know pyroblast is a bit of a meme card as well but that's also even yeah, like yeah. like there's some there's some huge spells if you can make it cheaper, oh, that would yeah. Be cool. yeah. Oh, if you can make it you, you, you'd have to have like a you'd have to have like a if your deck has only odd cost cards or like reduce the cost of cards, but then you can't reduce like you. Can't, I don't think you can mess around with card costs because then you're suddenly doing yeah, stupid stuff, right? Like fiddling with yeah. <laughs> powers that yeah. we shouldn't have. Yeah, so like I think I think that can be that can be very dangerous. This one, the Vex Crow, we we spoke about how silly this can be and this is like another mage beast right like i think maybe they like forgot to put some tags on the hunter cards and they just they yeah, chucked they them on the them in beast. yeah so they're just like ah mage. yeah mages yeah. need it right so like we spoke about turn four if you've gone second if you go crow coin missile you've gotten a four mana three three plus two two cost minions hopefully it's not doomsayer and you don't lose your board um and your opponent just goes past yeah (laughs) but like that seems like a huge swing right like on turn four you know i know we spoke about playing something like we just mentioned fireball right which is a very annoying card to have to come up with on turn four but crow into double two cost is a very unexpected board turn for a mage deck absolutely right and also then that would normally come with removing one of yours as well like normally at that point casting arcane missiles you they would normally take something out on your side of the board and suddenly you're just kind of like what wait what, what are you doing like st- stop, stop that, that. yeah stop. <laughs> like yeah. This is, you're, you know, i understand you've got the beast now and you're all you're all about that swarm life but do you like vex crow is it too cute like relying on it to be that turn four like you know at 10 mana is this just this and fireball and a two cost spell kind of thing is it yeah you know he i'll play around with this guy as well yeah i'll play around with this guy as well um 
obviously the big one downside is you get doom call uh, doomsayer yeah. and you lose everything you've worked towards yeah uh, and you spend there, a lot of cards there are other the there are other really cool cards you can get yeah. you can get the kobold that yeah. gives you spell power yeah you well can, that would be yeah, very annoying you can get whatever <laughs> you can get all sorts of things that would do you get the you get the hunting mastiff you, you get, get the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> just like more yeah. removal yeah hunting well. mastiff is a is like a <laughs> surprise extra yeah. two damage on the end of your spell um <laughs> I think we'll have to see what other two cost cards come out right now. Yep. I'm sure if I thought about this for longer, I could think of something that yeah. was really cool that Vexcrow could do. Yeah. Um, but I feel like maybe this would be cooler if it was neutral. Yeah. Maybe. But then is it too strong though? Maybe, like, like yeah, it, maybe yeah. it's too strong. Like if if every spell has the potential for a bit of upside, then maybe that's a bit silly. Um, I know we'll jump into Paladin. I know this one is. I think an amazing card. Um, we're talking about Rebuke. This just, like, pretty much buys you protection, right? It's like an insurance policy against every deck that just goes, um, thank you for building up that board. I'm going to take that away from you. Now, for just two, you can say, well, well no, you're not, yeah. right? Like, you, you want to cast a seven-cost, like, you know, like, Defile kind of thing, potentially, or, like, or do you want to cost a... You know, you can't cast Flame Strike, right? Like, you can't cast things like doom right like you want to just take off all those giant board clears that you were like well i'll just cheat this out and uh, yeah. wipe the board no nope. when when you're when you're playing with your friends and you get those really cool combinations of cards and you go can you not attack that real quick i want to do something yeah, really yeah. cool it'll yeah. be cool yeah well, now you can do that yeah. <laughs> to random strangers yeah. random strangers it's great <laughs> what's uh, like vanish right like vanish yeah, yeah. like we can just agro agro paladin finally can do something against warlock yep because it can just go, well, you can't defile anymore because that costs seven yep. this turn. And, yep. they, and they cry. Yeah. They're sad. Well, like, what about, like, uh, you know, and, like, uh, you talk about prep, right? So it's like, okay, so it's not their next spell. It's all spells. Yeah. So, like, you cast prep, which costs you five. Um, <laughs> to, to then actually makes me sick <laughs> yeah. to think about. <laughs> to then reduce the cost of vanish, which also costs five more. Again, that's the thing. It doesn't cost five. It costs five more so like vanish a, comes down from eight. six to three <laughs> and then that costs eight you don't have oh wait you don't have 13 mana oh, oh. I, should <laughs> no, I guess this is all on the board yeah, again for yeah. another turn right like, but, I, but i also can't wait to see a trolden compilation of all yeah. of the miss reviews <laughs> yeah. where they're like it's this turn and they go no it's no, not, it's not. This yeah. turn. <laughs> but like it pretty much gives you that window right like imagine like i guess bloodlust is is the kind of card right like if there is that temporary huge buff yep. that you can just go i bought one turn i got yep. one shot one opportunity yep. this is knees weak arm spaghetti style right like yeah. slap the cards out of your opponent's yeah. hand for one turn he's gonna spend a turn picking them up again <laughs> and you just go just face yeah. right you're back just, to two plus two yeah. equals face paladin we'll right go. yeah sound the bells quest paladin is is this a Maybe. thing like like echo one two for two is not good right no. but like there are some very very broken yeah yes i would yeah. like to cast this five times on my be... on my uh, plant which is just going to spawn yeah. you know like <laughs> you've got the you've got the vorax and yep. you've got Le i hope her name's lanessa i'm yeah. pretty sure it is they're both lurking around lanessa is like this is the best thing yeah. ever <laughs> and the vorax is like well this is pretty cool too because my kids get really big and strong it's like vitamin tablets yeah. for the vorax and he you complete it. the quest and you complete the quest yeah so uh, like this the... card is cool if you want to give your entire board for 10 mana, yep. plus one, plus, plus two, two is yeah. just across the board. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, Makes for the heck of an upswing oh, on the back absolutely. of Rebuke, right? Absolutely. Like, you've protected your board um, from make Rebuke. Them huge. Yeah, you know, like we talk about Vanish, right? Six and five is 11. Um, they can't do that. And so even a super late mass board echo on Sound the Bells yeah. seems absolutely. very strong. If, if this was a 2-2... Two -two, it would be nuts, yeah. right? Like, be way yeah. too strong. Yeah, be way too strong. <laughs> They're like, at, at, a, at a one two, you can kind of compare it to Spike Ridge Steed. Yeah, They're like a little baby Spike yeah. Ridge Steed. Kind of. Kind, yeah, very. It's it's like a it's a tough comparison, but you can see the line. You can see the line that's there. But the priest cards is uh, talking about Echo. Um, I know this is a card that we kind of just kind of did a bit of a like a, a spitballing. If this had Echo. Would you hate yourself every time? So, like, if you were responsible for putting Echo... This card doesn't have Echo, by the way. As you can see, it just says, Choose a friendly minion, summon a copy of it with one health remaining. We've seen Mirage Caller. If this had Echo, would it be nuts? Because it's not capping it at one health. It's one health remaining. You've got things like Circle of Healing. 
the the upside to then push it back to full health. Yeah. So, so <laughs> let me preface this and say that I don't main priest. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not trying to make this card better for my sake. But from a flavor perspective, I feel like it should have echo. Yeah. I would absolutely hate it. I'd Recur- hate on turn nine, they just go doot, doot, doot. Yeah. And there's just four years yeah. there's just chilling on the board. <laughs> uh, no, it'd be absolutely, it would be absolutely broken. But yeah. I feel like at one point, maybe in the design, it had echo. And maybe they did some and stuff and they, they were went, like, that's dumb. No, nah, no, nah, we, we, we take we that away. We won't do that, yeah. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it better than Mirage Caller? Mirage Caller didn't really see a lot of play. play but he played cap- around with Mirage yeah. Caller a little bit, but the difference between a minion He's, that has a maximum of one health or a minion that has 12 but it's down to, to one, one health two very different things it's right two very different things but mirage colors had a body as well yeah. so there was like that extra yeah. you know speak speaking about interesting bodies <laughs> with with very <laughs> weird effects baku glitter moth five cost four four it's beast they love every, everyone's no, got beast everyone's got yeah, beast <laughs> except, for, yeah. except for hunters that have dragons it's almost right? like forests are like out in the wild and there's <laughs> animals living in them or something it's weird except for the hunter part of the forest that just has one dragon uh, just yeah, being like yeah chilling yeah, in it yeah, right yeah if your deck has only odd cost cards double yes double the health of your other minions smart enough to not have double the health of this yep. so it's a, not a five cost four then eight you'd run right out of every deck <laughs> right um, but you know like inner fire right um is an odd cost card you can't run divine spirit i think it is from memory you can't run that because that's an even so you can't make it a super card but like for six this is you know like sorry for the next turn after if you double something and then use divine spirit you can have some pretty nut plays, right? You can. You know, you like can. We, we've seen all the all the silence. You know, the the big like um, stone golem dude, and you've got the four eight plant that suddenly is yeah, a. You can yep. do them all at the same time yes. and get a four four body. Yep. You you can't shadow word pain. Yes. <laughs> and you can't free from amber. Yep. And you can't mind control. So you also can't circle of healing. You priest, can't. Or priest can I goes soul into, priest. Yeah, priest goes into a bar. He gets really drunk and he goes water burn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe this Maybe, will yeah. happen. Maybe later on in other expansions this will happen. Yeah. Right now, I don't think this has a spot. I think this is just chilling on a tree somewhere. Yeah. The priest went. That's cool. I'll take that. Yeah. Looks pretty. You keep that over there, but don't come yeah. near all my even cost cards yeah, please. that I need to I like. Need these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these like they, they make up the backbone of, of the deck, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um the the coffin crasher, this is the this is the, the last of the I think, no, I think we've seen three priest cards. Yes, this would be the, the last one. Quest priest, right? Like this is death rattle, summon a death rattle. This is a two for one. It's not a six cost four four. This is a six cost six five. W- where is the downside to this card? There isn't one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't think of one. <laughs> the, Priest the, is like, yeah, this yeah. is great. Yeah. This is awesome. I love it. We'll just pull out like not so stuff from my hand. Like you spoke about like bone drake and stuff. Give us a bone drake. <laughs> you know, give us a bone drake. Yeah, <laughs> like the, uh, the little digger. Yep. Lady. Yeah. I yeah. Can't remember her name. Uh, the great shallow grave digger. Yep. But Shook, go get one. You don't yeah. have to run it. Yeah. You have three of them. It was awesome. The only the, there is a downside now is if not you're not holding me. a yeah. death rattle. But if your if your deck is death rattle priest, oh, death rattle priest, yeah. run on a quest. <laughs> this guy is your best friend. Yeah. He loves it. He's great. Oh, I I think coffin crasher could become a very annoying card for a lot of players. They can Absolutely. just be like, not please, please not this again. No. Um, <laughs> don't. But CC here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> but what about? rogue unstable portal in face collector like there i think we can all agree there are more there are there are more better legendary cards than there are worse legendary cards but how bad do you feel to cast a nine mana three two twos and add three law walker chose to your hand like it doesn't it doesn't feel too good (laughs) yeah if you like opening packs (laughs) you like gambling (laughs) And this guy is like a little lever. Yeah. You just put your pay three mana and you go, maybe. Yeah, maybe, spin the wheel. Maybe I can get a card I'm not supposed to have. have. Yeah. Uh, or maybe I'll get 
Law Law Walker. Walker yeah. <laughs> or maybe we'll get one of like or something. You know, oh, like I, the dark I, fisherman or yeah, something. Yeah, I like, like that. It's it's three cost. Yeah. Because in the later game, in the early game, you just get a legendary. It's cool. Yeah. In the late game, you can go. Well, maybe I'll play a second one because it has echo. Yeah. And you can kind of undo your mistake. Yeah. <laughs> when you get a terrible <laughs> terrible legendary cuz you take um, that right you like 6 mana 2 2 2 bodies one great legendary one completely useless yeah, yeah. you you would take that right absolutely like at, at his base level he is a 3 mana 2 2 kind of draw card yeah with a whole bunch of like elf and heads and that he's oh, just holding yeah, on to it's, it's kind collecting, of terrifying collects bases yeah. he loves it <laughs> he's <laughs> yeah, I, i'm i'm ex- i'm excited um but yeah, the, the the when your opponent plays this and the next turn the card that wins them the game or saves them from losing is a legendary they never had access to, you're just like... You're going to feel pretty sure. dirty. Sure, yeah. If, if Dragon <laughs> Rogue ever becomes a thing... Ooh. Yeah. There's some, uh, there are some very interesting applications. What about Wanted? Okay, so my, my first thoughts with a four-cost spell that deals three damage to a minion... And it's not an enemy minion, you could even target yourself. If that kills it, add a coin to your hand. So, let's, okay, live, live this dream with me, right? Turn two, coin, right? So we're going prep, <laughs> right? Into this for one, killing something, having one left over, getting a coin, 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 Edwin, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's it's, it's that's amazing. a turn that's a turn two ten ten right so like if you want to leave like if miracle rogue is your thing and there are some players out there that just love miracle rogue right like who doesn't love the idea of just a, a turn two ten ten dump your hand <laughs> yeah yeah and it like feels okay good. if your opponent kills it yeah. with shadow word yeah. death you're uh look you cry and you can see the game and you try it again yeah <laughs> and you're trying to get a priest yeah. but like you, you also it also gives rogue access to they can now destroy uh five health minions because they can backstab and yeah. then wanted and then they get they get a little discount yeah it's like that seems good yeah. right yeah but like is this too cute like is the fact that it's four and not three so prep can't cast do you think that was consideration they're like if it's three then it's free off prep yeah. and that's too strong yeah. you know <laughs> I'd, I'd almost always want to combo this with prep i feel like yeah. four mana is yeah it's nice the effect yeah. is cool but you can't it's technically three because yeah, you get tech, a coin yeah. back but, but like you can't have yeah. a deck with too many cards that need prep because you've really only got yeah, two only preps, got two preps. <laughs> yeah. so like it'd be interesting right it will it, it will, will. It, i think it, i think it it can be it can be pretty cool yeah the talking about cool cards i think this is both art um and just like use the witch's apprentice this little like it i thought it was a slug at first like this little frog a zero one taunt now shaman probably it may be warrior but shaman is possibly the worst best random spell class right like you can get shaman is so diverse you've got free shaman you've got totem shaman you've got well you had evolution shaman right there are you had jade i know you've lost some of that stuff but there's such a massive spectrum if you're not a free shaman and you get that freeze give a frozen minion what is it plus three plus three you feel real bad you do <laughs> right you do. <laughs> but if you rip relevant shaman spells like this is like if you, you talk about face collector being the spin the wheel and hope for the major prize I feel like Witch's Apprentice is pretty similar. You know, zero one taunt, anything, anything, anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> the, I, I I love the flavor of it. This is what happens if you could actually hex a mage. Yeah, uh, this is what you'd get. Um, the my favorite combination of cards I can think of with this is on turn one you drop your Witch's Apprentice yeah. and you get Unstable Evolution, yeah. and then on turn through turn two you play your three drop. You just yeah. go boop boop. Yeah. Up you go. <laughs> But like cool, but then maybe. When, but then when it doesn't work, yeah, yeah it doesn't work really <laughs> yeah. hard. It's like you can have a volcano and you go, well, this is nice later, maybe I suppose. But I also run a whole bunch of minions on a blow yeah. my own board. You get so one like that, you get that awesome card that gives all your totems plus yeah. two health, and you go, oh, I wasn't really considering yeah, playing yeah. many totems yeah. this game. So uh, look, I, I think they have to balance a card like this yeah. for obvious reasons. It's also a beast. Uh, like, it's also a beast. I guess frog's a beast. There's another beast. Yeah. Here he <laughs> is. Considering, yeah, sorry, we, 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 we actually lied to you at the start of the podcast, uh, start of the video. It's not witch wood, it's actually beast wood. It's beast um, wood. Yeah, this yeah. is the, this is the, uh, the Merspark eel 
Two cost, two, three. So already like stat wise. It's quite nice. Yep. Okay, good. If your deck has, here we go again, only even cost cards, deal two damage. Anyway, this is face, this is removal, but there's a lot of stuff that is an even. I mean, sorry, there's a lot of stuff that isn't an even card. Yeah. Right? In Shaman. And once again, how good is a two cost, two, three that deals two damage to not play a lot of removal that costs five? You know. If some of these said even cost spells, right, or odd cost spells, mm. and for some of the more minion focus class, then there's a couple of um, cute little tricks that you can't run. I think there would be a lot more appetite for this. Yeah. But some of these decks, like you said, it's so hard to justify dropping fireball as a mage. It's so hard dropping shadow word pain as a priest kind of thing. Like you know, and this one goes for the even way. How do you feel about this? I, I think a 2 mana 2 3 is pretty solid. Yep. He reminds me of the, uh, the Pandarian Cthune dude yeah. <laughs> that was a 2 1 yep. that did 2. Yep. Um, but for your odd cost, you can't have any odd cost cards. Like, they did move Hex to 4, and they said we're moving it to 4 for the future. Yeah. Is that why? I don't think they thought that far forward, I'm sure. Maybe they did. Maybe but, they did. But, like. But is that that broken? Like, like this, yeah. this and Hex is like too much early game removal for at, a shaman at, at the very least this guy can help you keep the board early yeah uh, but yeah. you gotta have odd cost cards yeah so like wh whatever that means for your I, I'm, I'm not i'm not sure i'm yeah. i'm not sure but we spoke about hagatha um in the previous video we spoke about hagatha being the only hero card eight cost five armor Three to everything. Three to all of it. Yep. That's How do like you feel a... about Hagatha the Witch? She's, she's really cool. Yep. She's really cool. Um, Shaman kind of got shafted a little bit. They had their fun in yeah. Whispers of the Old Gods. And Evolution Shaman was cute, but it wasn't the coolest thing ever. But uh, but Hagatha is, is interesting because this is her hero powers. Bewitch. Yep. Uh, so after you play a minion, add a random shaman spell to your hand. So Could be anything. Could be anything. <laughs> could be anything. But all of your minions now have... Play a minion, draw a card. Almost draw a card, right? Like pseudo card yeah. draw. The, the Infinite upside. When it goes good, it goes really good. Well, it's like, so you play Witch's Apprentice, right? And you're adding two cards to your hand. Yeah. You know, like, so you're getting a spell that's like a battle cry random spell a passive hero if you whiff twice <laughs> yeah. that's really you're, you're unlucky a, you're having a bad time you're having a bad time <laughs> but you know like after playing this I love dropping a witch's apprentice and get, having two spells yeah you get two spells yeah, yeah. like that that yeah. seems like a lot could of be, value could be very scary will the rune spear finally <laughs> see play maybe Ma maybe more, yeah it's still, like, still only a maybe right yeah. but um, if we if we just if we park Sharma for a little bit and we look at uh, if we look at warlock Glinda, Crowskin, terrifying name, uh, legendary warlock, six cost, three seven. If you leave this on the board, and seven is a lot, I, I really don't like the three. I really kind of wish this was four, but I don't know if that's too strong because priests just don't know what to do against this. Minions you in probably, your hand. You probably don't want to shut yeah. priests out of this. <laughs> yeah, minions in your hand have echo. H how strong is this? Echo, echo is echo lock echo zoo echo, lock echo, echo zoo lock yeah <laughs> echo cube lock yeah <laughs> does the carnivorous cube cost five uh, or six uh, I think it if it yeah. if it yeah. does cost five <laughs> the, the, you cube whatever you want then you cube the cube, cube then yeah. that cube dies and makes two cubes <laughs> and then those two cubes make four <laughs> <laughs> math, quick math. Yeah, that's great. Really doesn't do it's well great. with this kind of stuff. Do you want to? Do you want to run extra hooked reavers? Yeah, I mean, you don't. You don't right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. But like, if it's the, got echo, yeah. you do. I want to play a whole bunch of lepronomes <laughs> and then defile them and just nuke the board. She's she's got you play around with her. She's yeah. got some cool stuff. Yeah, this, that she can do. This is like a, a legendary that like you you definitely not bummed to pull because yeah. there could be some really fun maybe not top tier competitive application no, but like no. a lot of a lot of good stuff. Um, but speaking of legendaries, what about a spy witch dual wielding pistols, Lord Godfrey seven cost four four, battle cry deals two damage to all other minions. Obviously not. Godfrey himself or herself, possibly herself. It's him. Is it him? Yeah, is it's it? him. Yeah, all right. If any die, repeat the battle cry. 
<laughs> yep. Would you like to wipe the board for seven? I feel like Warlock has quite a few ways to clear the board. How would you like another one? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Warlock did not have enough board clear, so we decided to put an extremely powerful ability on a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say this is probably the top five, possibly top three, yeah. maybe the strongest card of the entire set. Just like, This is stupid. Just giving access to that board wipe is just, it's yuck. Yeah. Right? Like, like don't... I, like, I love playing Warlocks, but I like the super meme like, Blood Bloom into, like, <laughs> Doom yeah. kind of stuff. Like, like I'm all for this, right? Like, I uh, just... We spoke about, you know, um, spells cost five more, right? Godfrey's not a spell. So yeah. the aggro paladin's like, we're fine. Oh, no, 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 we're, we're not. not. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not, we're, not we're not okay. We're not in the clear because the warlock's like, do it, commit to that board, have one card in yeah. hand. Oh, whoop, they're all gone. Yeah. Right? <laughs> because I love, I love Godfrey. He's yeah. like, defile on steroids, yeah. but you don't lose your yes. your little divine shield dude. Uh, I can never remember his name. Yeah. <laughs> it's like on a stick, right? Like on a just, stick. I, 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 look, I look forward to seeing where Godfrey fits in, but the, the last four is of the Mighty Warrior class and maybe the most confusing cards possibly, I think. Um, Rush obviously was always going to be a warrior mechanic. We're always going to see, I think, Rush on warrior cards. It makes sense being able to run stuff into minions because often warriors get benefit from doing so. We start off with the Red Band Wasp. Is this like <laughs> two cost one three, you're taking out an opponent's creature 90% of the time and leaving it on the board which then should trade up again so a two cost two for one always seems good right seems great but, but late how bad is this card though yeah it doesn't like, seem that good like does nothing almost you, you could you could play it in a whirlwind it and then get a four two yep um, what about with like execute though use it late to take out something because yeah yeah you know it's got, it's got rush it's a cheap way to damage a damage a key minion yeah uh if you want to get rid of that but i i will be playing around with this i think it's cool at first when when i first saw it i was like well this is insane this yeah. is super super strong four mana four three and i'm like it's not though no yeah it's uh it, well I'll, I'll be interested to see kind of where it fits obviously i think an arena will happily have this card um warpath though is this like is it defile like is it with echo is the, it is it a community different is divided yeah. on this one because they're like let's let's defile for yeah. warriors but it's not because defile doesn't cost yeah four and yeah. six well, and eight, eight every time it ten. goes off yeah i've seen defiles go off so many times <laughs> but not cost ten it doesn't it doesn't it, yeah it costs two this this is for when you you might want to do three damage across the board yeah so you do two damage to everything and then you trade up or just, it, that doesn't seem great though that it doesn't that, but that, that doesn't it's seem... got some versatility to it that i think if we can play around with it you never know yeah maybe spell power warrior might be a thing if it won't but maybe it will maybe it will this is like a little emergency brawl when you're out of brawls and you need to clear the board yeah you want so like to spend it's 10 mana to do it yeah i was gonna say it's a very it's very expensive the militia commander I know they don't... I'm sure they don't actively print cards for, like, arena only, but this seems like an arena card to me. A 4 cost 2 5 that comes out as a 5-5. Five five, that's great. It was a 4 cost 5-5. Five five, warrior's back, right? Like, that's super annoying. But those last two words, this turn, now you're stuck with a 4 cost, maybe a 2-2 two two after you've yeah. traded into something. Like how does this fit where does it fit you know it's not i know pirates losing a lot of synergy it's not even like a pirate it doesn't even have a tribal synergy does it go anywhere is this just an arena card for some cheap removal i, I feel like that's probably where it's gonna sit yeah at the end of the day because um, where, where else where else is the application for it you'd use it for removal yes yeah, pretty like that's much it, what right? you'd use it for so, it'd feel really good to play on turn four yeah and then horrible and then, uh, the and then the horrible for the rest of the game yeah. but in arena in arena that's probably your best mate yeah yeah we'll uh, we'll finish off with last card darius crowley and i think a very very interesting card super trade up um you know we, we looked at you've seen the boogie monster uh five cost four four when it attacks and kills a minion gain plus two plus two 
This is a 6-6 six, six on the turn you play it, right? It then should pre present a pretty annoying body in terms of attack power for your opponent to get rid of. And if this stacks like the Finger War Leader interaction, where if you kill it, obviously when it attacks, they've tempered it slightly because if it was just when it kills a minion, right? Defensively, you need to be able to add extra damage to get over top. Then it becomes insane, right? Yeah. But when this kills and attacks, you should get, we spoke about getting two for one on the on the red band. You should be getting two for one on this as well. Yeah. And that's very annoying for your opponent to deal with. Yeah. If it behaves the way I think it will, yep. you can trade it into almost whatever you want as long as it has four or six or eight depending on how big he is, health. Yep. And he will drop to zero and then go back up to, to two. two. Yep. And that's a big problem for whoever you're going up against. Yep. Aggro, yep. Paladin, screams. Yes. He's terrified. Well, um, especially if you can hide it behind a taunt as totally. well. You know, you just, just like, out in the yep, corner. and just keep popping stuff yep. and living on two life and just keep going, what up? Yeah, here I am. <laughs> yep. You know, and like, and as, you know, a six to the face the follow up turn that's nice it is you know it like is. having six to the face is you know warrior can get out of hand very quickly if you can keep your board alive and they just keep getting better whilst also removing your opponent's minions i really like crowley i think it it, it look this card could could flop very badly for sure but and that's going to be largely dependent on where warrior sits and how they want to play but i really like crowley i think very interesting card I'll be excited to pull this as my first legendary out of Witchwood, and I, I, I think it has some cool application. He's got some cool application, that's yeah. for sure. That's for sure. And every class is going is confirmed to have two legendaries as yeah. well. So, so um, we've, we've seen a lot of them. We've seen a couple. I yeah. think I think it's who was it? Warlock has definitely shown off both. Yeah. So you've got one for Warrior, both for Lock. We've seen Shaman because that's the hero. We've seen none for uh, one for uh, none for Priest, one for Rogue. None for Paladin, none for Mage, both for Hunter. And then we saw the Legendary, obviously they got a few more. Yep. So there's going to be five, as we can see, three out of five on the neutral Legendaries. But your, your, your closing thoughts, your final thoughts on, on Witchwood. Is there, a, is there a class that you think is going to sit at the top early? Is there, you know, is there a, what's the card that based on the ones we've looked at today, is there one that you're super excited to play? What are your, what are your closing thoughts, Zach, on the Witchwood expansion? a lot of these cards are difficult to gauge yep. when we're going into a new meta a meta where everyone basically puts a blindfold on yeah. and just goes for <laughs> Swings it you know? the yard um, yeah. some of the most interesting cards i'm looking forward to is whether or not odd and even decks can work yeah at all they need a couple more cards i think in the set yeah should pop up to do it and we'll um, see that over the next two weeks right yeah yeah we'll I see really, more spoilers i really want to play torn warrior yeah <laughs> I really want to play Taunt Warrior. I really hope that maybe one drop Hunter can come back into play as well and actually be viable. Yeah, Quest Hunter would be very cool. Yeah. And and so the next two weeks we see the end of the set, like we see the rest of the spoilers, then we pretty much then it drops, right? So it's like will, another I will say it my estimate is Yeah. Friday the twentieth of April. Right, okay. Okay. So Friday twenty third. I'm getting I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost guessed it last time. Yeah, I would say Friday the twentieth of April uh, and, will and be when we see it. And I think they've got, and I'm sure it's still running. They have an amazing pre-buy. This is like the most value I think they've ever done on a pre-purchase oh, and nuts. expansion. It's I think dumb. it's seventy packs. Seventy or something. packs. Seventy packs. So if you live in Australia, it's sixty four ninety five. Yeah, uh, and you get fifty packs, which is usually what you did. Yeah, you're getting fifty packs for the same price as. 40 yeah i believe yeah and then like go ahead you can have an extra an extra 20 on the top yeah and between now and the launch date for the year of the raven which will be the same day yeah. as witchwood comes out every time you finish a quest you get a random pack from the year of the mammoth or a witchwood pack yeah i don't know if you knew about that yeah i, I um, saw so you get your gold and a pack yeah. on top so like i think it, it's great like obviously hearthstone they make a ton of money it's a great game accessible to a lot of people i really like when big corporations just go step back and say have some free stuff yeah we, play we, the game yeah we, we like you you definitely support enough to be like we can just lower the paywalls a little right yeah. and it's just a nice little way of saying thanks for sticking with us and yep. yeah we're about to strip a whole bunch of cards out of your collection that you can only play in wild so 
he feel a little bit better about that. And yeah. I think it's such a cool thing. And obviously Blizzard is very in touch with their base. They have one of the most, if not the most successful game of all time in WoW. They obviously know what they're doing and I look forward to Witchwood. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you for uh, for your wisdom. Thank you for your your, uh, your kind words. I uh, look forward to uh, just, just janking out some very interesting Baku Gen one on ones yeah. in the uh, in the Witchwood, but uh, but yeah, thank you again. I will link your. Uh, I know you do a little bit of uh, art online as well, so I'll pop that in the description of the video. Thank you so much for doing the first part of this series. Thank you so much for doing the second part as well. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you again. My name is Coops. This is the whole box and dice. Thank you for watching. Check us out on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. Subscribe if you are new. If you'd love to see new Hearthstone stuff or more Hearthstone stuff, whether it's gameplays, whether it's text, whether it's meta, whether it's just commentary on where the game is at, let us know in the comments. It has been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you all online. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.